Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how to find common start and run on a PSC compressor. This is the method that you'd use to test all PSC motors, compressors, blower motors, inducer motors, all of them. So our multimeter is set on ohms, and we're reading OL, and that's because our probes are not touching. So what we're going to do is we're going to test each of these terminals right here in order to read our resistance values. Our power is off, our compressor plug is is off and now we're going to go ahead and check our resistance values. So you see we're reading 1.5 ohms of resistance. So we have our terminals marked out right here. We're reading 1.5 right now. Now we're going to go ahead and read our resistance value right over here. So that's our bottom two terminals and we're reading 7.5. And now we're going to go ahead and read the bottom terminal. I'm just going to go ahead and move this so you can see it a little bit better. So our left terminal and our top terminal. So now you see that we're reading 6 ohms of resistance. And now it's fairly simple in order to determine which terminal is what. So we're going to go ahead and just take these off and just explain how this goes. So you see that we read 6 ohms of resistance between here and here. So that's this one and this one. We read 1.5 between here and here, so that's these two. And then we read 7.5 ohms between here and here. Now to get to be the highest resistance reading, that means that you actually have to go through both windings. So that means that if this is your highest resistance reading, then this right here is your common tap. So then we look at what was the second highest resistance reading, and that was from here to here. So that means that this is your start tap. And your lowest resistance reading was between here and here. And since we know this is common and this is start, then that means that this is run. So you see that our resistance readings matched up. And now we're going to go ahead and check the windings against the ground just to make sure that there's no short. Typically when you have these resistance readings matching up, there is no short to ground, but you definitely go ahead and check. In order to do that, we're just going to go ahead and clip one right over here. You could just clip it on the the tubing, the copper tubing that's attached to here, or uh, unpainted steel or scratch in somewhere where it's not going to uh, end up getting rusted out. So let's just check each one. We should be reading OL. We should have no resistance whatsoever with the ground. That would mean that the winding is actually shorted and touching the ground. So that's that. So, so this compressor is good, at least electrically, and that's how you ohm out a compressor. If you're looking for the multimeter I used in the video, I have that link down in the description section below. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click right here. If you want to subscribe, click right here. And if you're looking for another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.